guys, welcome back to some more AFK Arena. Today we're back over on our YouTube account and we are looking at the brand new Peaks of Time. So the Peaks of Time within the Wandering Bloom guys, we have another one which is the Dreamscape. Really cool when this came out. I believe it was right around the time of Joker and Queen. Looking out of here guys, we get 10 more faction scrolls. We do get very minimal loot. Red chests out of here definitely are well worth it. Then of course we do get some resources. They don't even give us the 24 hour resources guys. We only get the eight hour resources out of here. But again guys, it is a getting getting free loot out of here is always good. And I believe um, this one is a lot of dialogue. If I remember correctly, again, I'm remembering it from the Voyage of Wonder. I believe there is a lot of conversation which right here, yep, so there is Queen, there's Joker. We're not gonna pick up anybody we really don't need to. So in this one, guys, we start on the top right with the battle. You can see there are all these parchments that are around here. Um, we have to pick them up. And again, I'm just kind of recalling from memory what we have to do in here. But I think there are a couple little tricks. So we're gonna start here on this top camp right here. You take out the first camp and you can see, um, similar to one of the, the historic voyages, one of those little, um, some of the land drops away. Again, there is a lot of conversation. You can see all the parchment and the plants are growing around the parchment itself. Again, there is a very, very specific way that you have to do this. So we're gonna move over. We are gonna pick up the glowing aspiration. There we go. So it looks like a child's journal in handwriting. We'll pick up the chest when we're here. I'm gonna go back and fire this cannon, guys. Boom takes out different camps, allows us to actually get into other places within this um, Wandering Balloon Adventure to make it a lot easier. This is the next camp that we're gonna be taking out right over on this side. Another camp right there, relatively easy. Um, we're gonna come over, we're gonna pick up the Glowing Aspiration. And of course, it just tells you a little bit more about the story. And again, recalling, I believe this story was based about Rowan at this point. And since we utilize this first cannon up here, we actually get to pick up this parchment with absolutely no problem for the third aspiration. Get another chest right there. Now we're actually gonna be moving to this middle camp, guys. This is the nightmare, is kind of the primary battle. I'm gonna leave this one in here because when you move here, we actually fight this one twice. And again, it does kind of trigger the story. You'll see in here, we're running the Einskamp. Makes these incredibly easy. Um, some players do run Scarlet, some do run um, Old Negrez. So there we go. So we get this strange golden egg out of here, which gives us some more battles. And then we will fight the Nightmare um, a second time. And this, essentially at the end of this, you'll have to do the exact same. You'll have to take out the Nightmare itself a couple times to continue on with the voyage. And there we go. So we'll get that a second time. Now we're going to move over here to our left and continue our camps. Another pretty easy camp down. So moving all the way over here, guys, we'll get the glowing aspiration. And if we do these out of order, it will actually block um, some of our camps. I think you can take the portal just back to the center. So we can hop in the portal every time. But now we are going to take over this camp to the bottom left. Taking out the camp here will actually give us access to this lever right here. So we're going to go ahead. We're going to hit this yellow lever, changing a couple of these and then moving around to this camp over to our right. With that one down, we're gonna do a little bit of hopping with these levers. So we're gonna hit the blue lever first, then we're gonna move over. We are going to hit the yellow lever. This will give us access to the cannon we actually need right up here. We'll move up here to this cannon. Fire it one single time, which I believe is gonna take out the barrel that was in the way here. And then we have to undo exactly what we just did. So back to that yellow lever, opening our pathway going down to pick up the glowing aspiration in the bottom. To pick up the aspiration, we do pick up the chest right here. And then again, it's right back to um, the blue lever again to swap this one back. There we go. Now moving ahead to the camps over on this side to take them out. From this area, we have one more parchment to pick up. Which again, if you followed all the directions, there we go. So we have the entire clue base. Um, we actually forgot our chest right there. We'll pick up the chest. We'll hop in the portal to go back to the middle. Looking here, guys, we have six chests. We are missing our final one, which is right here, guys, the nightmare. Now we have to fight this four times. That is right, guys. Four times you're going to fight this. Um, relatively easy to get through here. I, I was thinking 
with the Lost Remnants, the current Voyage of Wonder that is coming up that everyone absolutely hates. I cannot wait to see when it comes back as a um, Wandering Bloon. I think a lot of people will just skip it. So there we go. So there is Rowan, guys. I'm talking about the dream, talking about Tassie and Pippa. This is the nightmare for the second time. Again, we do have to take this one out four times. And I believe at the end of the fourth time, it does turn into our final chest. Um, this one has an incredible amount of dialogue, which really does take a considerable amount of time to get through here. There we go. Let me just lift it. What is this place? Greedy boy, wake up. Is it a dream? Maybe in this version, we do only have to take this one out twice. But again, the dialogue in here, guys, it's a pretty cool story. There we go. So we got our 10 scrolls. So we finished our map right there. So we have our 10 crystal or our one crystal chest, um, our six golden chests, which will complete the dreamscape, guys. Um, pretty easy to get through this one. Again, if you do not do it in order, you're gonna have to continue to reset it, reset it, reset it. Um, make sure you do you do follow the progression um through here. So let me know in the comments what you guys think. And as always, thank you guys for watching.